get numbers back. You like the build up to the goal, the opening goal, Shaka. It, it was really good football from Bayern Munich. And while wow, we, we just showed the end of it, long spread of possession for them, where they go from one flank to the next. Kimmich, they moved into the centre for now. Leimer. Davies available. Gnabry, one of the players available in the centre. Easy peasy for Bayern, Serge Gnabry. And he celebrates, it's another goal. His third since coming back from injury. And Bayern are well on their way. This is their first official visit to Heidenheim and making light work of their hosts. Yeah, this time on the left side, Alfonso just gets the cross in. Nabri in the middle. It's bad defending, I have to say. There's two defenders, no one really wants to go towards the ball. You have to mark a player at the six yard box. You cannot leave him just free like this. Three home games, but they ran both Leverkusen and Eintracht Frankfurt close. But it's a significant cushion at the halfway stage and bad. So Piringa trots on. Cesar who I think would prefer not to be known as somebody who can make an impact off the bench. Well, a new experience for Patrick Alt. He's refereed in the Zweite Bundesliga. Uh, first ball, long launched ball into the half of Bayern, trying to win the second ball, trying to get into the half of Bayern, because we haven't seen that at all from Heidenheim. I think they were twice in the half of Bayern, so they need to get the ball in their half, otherwise they can't uh, create anything. And I think this is the idea now, trying to get Bayern into duels, press them higher. Just trying to clarify the fourth official situation for you as we move on and play continues. There was an inquiry about possible handball, but it's back here with Gimba. Manon Busch over there on the left. Traore remains on the right-hand side for Heidenheim. The two, 2v2 situation on that free kick, and I thought like, oh, you've got to be careful because when he plays and just in this moment. Oh, all of a sudden it opens up for Heidenheim! And the equation is altered, and Kevin Sessa, well, there's the impact substitute for you. His first ever goal in the Bundesliga, and Bayern caught napping. Too many bodies forward, and that substitution has worked a treat for Frank Schmidt. To catch him anymore, Heidenheim is back in the game. Well, this is typical of Heidenheim. We've seen it time and again this season. What we hadn't seen prior to that moment was a Sessa goal. 51% on the probability chart. Well, they've given Bayern something to think about. Yeah, and a goal against after 50 minutes now, so there's still plenty of time for Heidenheim. That will produce energy in the stadium. Now Beste, and another chance, and another goal! Man, oh man, Kleindienst has made it 2-2. This is Heidenheim, this is who they are. It's another comeback from 2-0. We saw it against Dortmund earlier in the season. We saw it last week against Stuttgart. Heidenheim will never give up. This is unbelievable, Derek. What in the stands. 86 seconds between the two goals. Here's Kay trying to fight the angle. Received it from Gnabry, who wanted it back. Offside by the look of things anyway. I can tell you that Heidenheim really are up for this, but Kane in position and he's denied by Kevin Miller. Wow. It looked as though that was a self-inflicted Heidenheim wound. 
Yeah, that is what happened in Munich. They equalized it 2-0 in Munich. And Goretzka and Mura helping it on its way. And it was Kane and it was Gnabry. Looking over towards the assistant referee, flag raised. As officiated in the Verbandsliga and the Landesliga, fully qualified. Thomas Tuchel looking more than a bit angry, and Patrick Alt feels compelled to show him the yellow card. Kimmich did well putting in the challenge. Thomas Müller, the Heidenheimer rather spoiling the party for him, 700th official appearance for Bayern. Harry Kane almost getting right into the face of Patrick Alt. The yellow card is coming out again. It was Gimba who was grappling there with Kane. Decision taken. Hit the 10 goals mark in the Bundesliga. Credit to Frank Schmidt, the changes he made. At the start of the second half, really have worked wonders, but now they have to defend here. Heidenheim, Goretzka, what a chance to meet for Tell and Kevin Müller. Müller again for Heidenheim. Well, Frank Schmidt really full of praise in the build-up to this game for his goalkeeper, Kevin Müller, describing him as almost flawless. Goretzka. Muziala. Sort of player who can change the course of a game with one kick of the ball. Saw that in the final day last season in Köln. Müller did well. Kimi. See where Kane has light up, buddy. Arrows that one towards goal. Yeah. Jan Niklas Beste to deliver this one, and Ulreich has an important save to make. Well, Cesar was positioned, doing his job. Jerry? Yeah, that was a very important save. He just was able to get his hand across, otherwise it would have been 3-2. Usually favourite when it comes to striking these. As we approach the final quarter of an hour, Jan Niklas Beste! How close it was! And that is one of the reasons why he was... That's pace back there, as does Tell, now his direct opponent, but it's Omar Traore trying to get into a flow, and a gap in the defence, and is it going to be 3-2? There's the answer! Klein Deeds again! This is astonishing! It is the stuff fairy tales are made of. Little Heidenheim. Just look at what they're doing against the might of the Rekordmeister. From 2 0 Bayern to 3 2 Heidenheim. Yeah, I'm absolutely stunned, Derek. I don't know what to say anymore. What Bayern. Touch on by Shubomoting for Matty Stell. But it's a crowded penalty area scene. And Tell, but Kevin Müller to take it cleanly. A yeah, good situation here from Tell. It's another shot on target. This time, an easy one for the goalkeeper to save. And European football for Heidenheim, while difficult, is not impossible. I don't know whether that would be good, though. Yeah, you might be right. Saragossa, we know he has skill, but Kevin Müller up to the task. Well, he wanted to do it on his own there, Saragossa. Yeah, great feet here from the little Spanish. Just couldn't get enough. And you can see they attack Bayern still. I mean, like, we are in the dying minutes of the game. They are 3-2 up. Now they attacking up front. Alfonso Davies, and that looked like a yellow card all the way. The comeback kings have done it again. More history written in Heidenheim.